So, yo, Berto, thanks for coming on, man. Hell yeah, man. You know. That's what's up, bro. Like, Thank you for having me, man. Nah, man, like, um, it's, uh, I love good music, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's uh, kind of a no-brainer. If you have good music, I'll put you on. Um, and that's what you got. You got good music. You had that trap sound, but you hear that East, East Coast uh, commodity, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which is dope, which I love it. Um, so just introduce you to everybody. To you. The Dry Nomad Presents is a fact, Marlo. Yes, fact, Marlo. FAC, get with it to get lost. <laughs> Yo, so like, how'd you get into the rap game? Like, what's your, what's your story, bro? So how I started doing music was, um, it was me and my cousins. And uh, first, for real, for real, how I very first started, I started on computer mic, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, from a computer mic, I then, um, I made this CD in about two days, bro. <laughs> and and <laughs> I was selling it all at school. And then I fortunately got kicked out of that school. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> then I um I start me and my uh, cousins, we formed a group which was FAC Family Always Counts and Fuck All Competition, and um they end up going to jail. It was me and my other cousins. They end up going to jail. I ended up staying out of jail, and uh, they're still in there. And I just kept pushing the brand and whatnot, and uh, just I promised them that I would keep it going. No, that's what's up. Um, how hard was that for you after they just started getting, you know, they got locked up? You know, you, you know, you have that family unit, and now you kind of you know solo. So, how'd you work through that? It was kind of hard, but then I just kept pushing. And then as I pushed, like as my money grew, like my my funds, I start putting it into like the logo, and then I did a face logo of me, and then um, I start buying merch. Like yeah. I got this. What I'm about to do right now. I'm about to get, you know, the patches. Yeah. Like you do the patches. So I'm gonna do the patches, and I'm gonna start patching like the hoodies and whatnot on the back, yeah. and then on the front, I'm gonna have like the dude smoking the bong, like the limited edition ones. I'm gonna have a patch of a cartoon dude smoking a bong, and then. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I love that, bro. I'm gonna I like hooking it up. Something, something different that's gonna be like wild. I'm just gonna do a limited edition shit. That's the biggest thing right there, bro. Yeah, you be unique out, out there, man. Like you can't you can't follow everybody else's uh lane. You gotta do your own joint, bro. Yeah. For real. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to really like and I you, I think I hear that in your music, man. Like, he, I listen to your music. You know what I'm saying? And um and Philly, you know, shout out to Philly. Um Hell yeah, shout out Philly, man. You know, um I had Philly on the podcast before as well and, and Philly's real, like he's real people. He's he's really he's really into making sure that like people really prosper, especially our people, you know what I'm saying? And that, that's that's the biggest draw right there. And uh, life is me. He keeps blessing me. Shit. He's 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 real, bro. He's one of the realists out there. Like you know, that's that's rare to see. There's a lot of cats out there just want to mooch or or just try to get over on somebody. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. uh, he doesn't have that in his body, bro. He just wants to really make sure that you know he he can give of himself, which is dope as fuck. Mm-hmm. So, um, how did you guys meet? How did you and Philly meet? Well, he's from Isle Clipper. I'm from Beaver Falls. He been following me, I guess, like checking up on me and my music for a while. And then he finally like reached out to me. So when he reached out to me, I was like, fuck yeah, you know what I mean? Then he was like, he invited me a couple of shows and I couldn't go to the shows, you know, because my parole and whatnot. So um, after that, I just flew out there. I flew out there Friday. And he put me in with Rock Nation on Saturday. <laughs> and then, you know what I mean? Next thing you know, now now they're interested in me. And, and me and Philly are going to do a, um, a, like a, a management. Me and him management deal is where he I, he's going to manage me now. Good. So, That's what's up, bro. Yeah, That's he's what's up. up. He's just taking, you know, helping me take off, man. He believes in me, you know? Well, no, no, no doubt. Like, it helps out with someone believes in you, but you also have the talent, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? If it wasn't for the talent, then, you know, no one would be there. <laughs> so <laughs> you got to give yourself kudos as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it is, it's, it's facts. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got something there, bro. Something real. And uh, it's dope seeing that you see that in yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to push it through. Just, yeah. just keep on pushing on, man. On the real. Like, I ain't never going to stop. No, you stop. can't. 
Nah, you can't, bro. You owe that to yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? You owe that to, to your fam. Um, so you grew up where in, in, in Pittsburgh? Yeah, I grew up in Pittsburgh, and then, um, but I'm from Beaver Falls, so I went to school out there, grew up down there, and then um, my cousins is from Pittsburgh, so we just start. I just started staying up there and whatnot. My mom kicked me out, blah blah blah. Um, so I started staying with my grandma as well. So basically, my grandma took care of me my whole life, you know what I mean? And now she's getting sick and shit. So I just, that's why I start incorporating her into my video videos and whatnot. So, yeah. like, most of my videos, you'll see my grandma and whatnot, you know what I mean? So I have, I try to build the memories for the family and whatnot. So they see her in the videos and we always have memories of her. That's that's dope. That's what's up. And, you know, because uh, once you put something on the internet, it lasts forever. And yeah. you'll be past, you can pass that down generation to generation. You know what I'm saying? Um, damn, man. Like, what? So you got, you're getting signed to Rock Nation. You got affiliates in management. Like, what do you see yourself, man? Like, how are you forming, I guess, like, you know, getting ready for your next EP or your next album? Like, you know, what's, what kind of sonically, what kind of sound do you want to have? Or what, are you trying to be different? That's what we're, that's what, that's what we're working on with uh, Rock Nation. I ain't, I ain't, I don't know what's going on with, like, the deal part. Like, I don't think there's no, like, I don't know what's going on with that shit. But he hit me up. He told me uh, we're doing an EP with him. And uh, I'm going, I forget the name of the one producer. We're going there, and we're making a four-song EP, and that's what they're pushing for me. Okay. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. So you are you going to try to make sure that, you know, your sound, you know, when you get, you get signed up, People want to change sounds or something. You know what I'm saying? You know how the industry can get. Yeah. You know, sometimes they want to fuck with the recipe when they don't need to be fucked with. You know what I'm saying? So how are you going to work that out and make sure that, you know, your sound is true to what you want it to, want it to be? Just go. I'm always going to make sure that I have a little part of me up in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, 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 no doubt about it. I'm going to make sure I have a part of me up in there no matter what. You know what I mean? I really yeah. don't think they want to change my sound. It's just the fact that um, they want me to bring another approach to it and turn it up a little bit. You know, okay. they want me to turn it up a little bit as well as like um, the quality. That's what it basically is the big thing is the quality of because I record at my house. So me recording at like a, a professional studio with a professional uh, engineer is going to make it. It's just going to all oh, around take it up. Me. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna make it's a big gonna, difference, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be like wow. Yeah, definitely not. That's that's dope. Like, so how long have you been like? You said you know how long has it been like when you first took rap seriously? You were rapping before, and you finally said, "No, what? Let me just take this route, like serious. This is gonna be my my thing to do." Last year. Okay. What what made that change? Um, when the I went to jail, bro, and all the police was down on me and whatnot. Like, they were trying to face, they was trying to throw 11 years at me. For what? For uh, threats. They they hit me with, like, two counts of everything. Like, I done made all the news channels, everything. I was like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? They locked me up, threw me in there with a $500,000 bail for, for just talking shit to the police on camera. You know how people hold yeah. the facebook and they'd be on camera for proof i was talking my shit and i was like <laughs> fuck y'all motherfuckers y'all bitch ass motherfuckers da, 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 da. <laughs> and next thing you know they kicked in the door the next morning and shit and fucking arrest me in my motherfucking drawers I so so hold on hold on hold on so you mean tell me that you were just talking shit on facebook they found out where you lived at yeah they have a there's a video on youtube of me talking shit from the news channel <laughs> I was like, and was because talking, of that, they, they, they try to fucking. They kicked open the door and ran in there with some um, machine guns while I was sleeping in bed. Just got done hitting the bomb, and fucking, I go to sleep. Next thing you know, boom, like, and they just arrested me. And uh, I went to court that day in front of a judge, and he hit me with a bail five hundred thousand dollars. I was like, what the fuck? For talking shit for freedom of speech. Yeah, for freedom of speech. <laughs> I said a little bit of threats too. You know what I mean? I said like, 
Okay. Uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's all it's all on there. I don't want to say it on here because <laughs> no, I'm yeah, no out. doubt. People can find it. <laughs> Let them find that <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? We don't want them knocking down the door again. Uh, so, <laughs> damn, bro, that's insane, though, man. So that happens. Did you serve some time? Well, I did a um, I did a month, and then I bailed out. My lawyer said to sit a month just for like court procedures. You know what I mean? Right. To make it look good on me, and uh, then I bailed out for fifty thousand cash. Because when I went to, I could have bailed out that day, and um, I had the Bell's bomb in there. He talking about twenty five thousand dollars, and put me on house arrest until September eleventh, until the case is over. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, if I bail out, I want to be free to do whatever I want. <laughs> right. So I said, fuck it, and sent me to jail. Like I sit in there, so I sat in there. My lawyer came in. I was like, man, so what's going on, man? He's like, man. You got you got two counts of everything. So I had like four, four or five F threes, which each F three serves three years to the maximum. And then I had like two M fives or some shit or yeah, something like that. So I was serving like eleven years. He was telling me he was like eleven to twelve years. You're about to do like if you if we don't beat this shit. If you want to take it to trial, we're, we're doing eleven to twelve years. <laughs> then I'm like, what oh the hell. Fuck? So I'm in there in jail, sitting there fucked up on this damn phone and shit, talking to my gram and all them, and just sitting there. And then I end up bailing out. Um, a month after, I pay 50k cash. I bailed out, and um, as I was bailed out, I end up making my song called "11 Years," and I made a video about it, and it was talking about all the shit that happened. I put the news, actually included the news clips in there and everything, right. like in the video. And that that's what took off. That shit just started taking off. And then I went to um, court September 11th, and that's when they hit me with two years of parole. Damn. So, I'm on so how is that going to work with you, like kind of traveling to perform? You know what I'm saying? Are you performing uh, in state? They end up. Yeah, they end up making music my job. So they okay. end up instead of me going to get a job, the parole told me that I can use music as my job. So that allows you to travel throughout the states. Yeah, I could travel as long as I get uh, permission. So you gotta tell your your PO every time you leave and your schedule pretty much. They gotta know everything. Hell yeah. It's just wild. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? It's it's just messed up. And and while I was in there, well, I was locked up. They hit me with a gun charge. So okay, where did that come from? They hit me with that because two years ago, I tried because I uh at one point I got a mental disability. I got PTSD. Okay. So two where did that come ago, from? I tried to buy a Glock forty. Yeah, two years ago I tried to go buy a Glock forty three from Dunham's. And, and now it came back on me two years later, and they hit me with a felony charge of trying to buy a weapon under a mental disability. So they, they was just trying to put shit on you. They was trying to hit me with everything nonstop, just back and forth. It just was like shit. So I ended up getting six months probation for that. That ends June 12th this year. I uh, end June 12th, so I got like a month or something left. Where did the PTSD stem from? Oh uh, man, I got shot, and um, I've been in a lot of shit, man. I've been in a lot of shit. Like, I man, I've been in so much shit. I feel like my sister tried to set me up to get me killed and shit because this one time I was coming across the bridge, right? You know what I mean? My mom said, take your sister to her friend. So I'm coming across the bridge. I stop at the light, and when I stop at the light, I end up, you know how you pull up a little further and you yeah. got to look up. So usually I'm leaning back. I'm leaning back and I'm I'm just chilling, and so I'm looking up. Next thing you know, the whole car get lit up. Wow. And she was on the phone like fucking two minutes before we hit that light. Next thing you know, the car get lit up. Man, that it, and it was fucked up. And I've been to a lot of shit, man. Like throughout my fucking life, you know what I mean? Like as far as like um. At one point, I went to this one school, and it was just racist as hell, so I went through shit like that, you know what I mean? Uh, racism, fucking, et cetera, you know, just a whole bunch of bullshit throughout my life. 
Damn, bro. She thought your sister's. Did you find out she actually set you up or not? Or I feel like she set me up. I ain't talked to her since. How long ago was that? That was three years ago, four years ago. Holy shit! You get? Did you get shot while you were in there? In the car? Yeah. Did she get shot too? No. No. Wow. Yeah. The the wow. one almost hit me in the head. It almost hit me in the head. It went uh through the back window and ran it through my headrest, dude. Wow. Went through my headrest and hit off to the side of the the shit right here, the plastic part, and went through it. That's insane, bro. Yeah, it was fucked up, man. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I would have fucking PTSD too. That shit was out. That's some yeah. fucked up shit. So like, anytime I hear like a boom, like my girl was playing the game and shit, yeah. this Apex game, and I heard a boom. Nigga, I got up like the air. Somebody shot me. <laughs> <laughs> I got up. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I woke up tripping. She was like, what the fuck is going on with you? I was like, man, you hear that gunshot? She was like, no, that was on the game. <laughs> That's real shit, though. That's real trauma, man. Me, I, mean, I was growing up in Brooklyn and, and Best Time, man. The projects, like it was, uh, that's all you saw. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All the stick up kids and those fucking working motherfuckers. And, like, you know, you see that shit on the streets all the damn time. You know, and like, you know, mad people from the hood, they pretty much do all have PTSD from all the shit they fucking go through. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing fucking crackheads fucking just zoned out, looking like zombies to fucking, you know, motherfuckers being their wives and shit, girls out in the street. You know, so that shit again, shot out or just ducking from bullets all the fucking time. Hell yeah. It's real, you know what I'm saying? That's, that is up. fucking real shit. Nigga, I'll tell you that. It is, bro. It's rough shit. And if you be even open with that shit, a lot of cats won't be open like that, bro. A lot of cats won't talk about it. Yeah, I just keep it a bean. And a lot of shit is in my music, you know what I mean? Like, everything I really rap about is really what I fucking go through. And that's how it should be. That's how you know, you know you're know you really real to the music. You know what I'm saying? That's not trying to... There's there's rappers and there's people who are who are in the business, you know what I'm saying, yeah. of rapping, and you don't you, your music doesn't seem to me you're just in the business of rapping. You know, you sound like you you are coming from the heart with your lyrics and stuff. You know what I'm saying, like, and your music, I said, like you know, you have that kind of trappy sound, but then there's a couple of songs I listened to was where I'm like, man, I, I hear that kind of East Coast flow coming out. You know what I'm saying, like it's there. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I love both sides of that. You know what I'm saying? And I think you keep on playing with that. You know, really make up some unique sound off, off of it. You know what I'm saying? Because some cats just go straight trap and it's great. And other cats just kind of go with that East Coast flow. But if you can combine both of that, man, it's it's dope. I love I love the sound that you have. I really do. Yeah, it's, I appreciate it. It's super, super fresh. You know what I'm saying? And um, man, so are you going for therapy for your PTSD? Yeah. They got me on this, this fucking talking to the counselor. The counselor be talking about I be talking too much and shit. <laughs> she, she be getting tired of me and shit, man. Like, she fucking, she wild, man. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with her. So I just smoke a little bit of marijuana and shit and coke, you know what I mean? No, yeah, you got, you know, listen, everybody got advice, bro. You got to do what you got to do to cope with that shit. You know, um, but how many times a week you go to therapy? You going every week? You going once a month? Uh, once a month. Once a month. Yeah. You feel like that shit's helping you out or not really? No. No. No, she's telling you to shut the fuck up. No, no, it's not working. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not working. It's not working for the most part. Still yeah, Still trying to get something to cope with, you know what I mean? But the music and the weed does this, you know what I mean? It helps me a little bit. So what's what's your goal, like, you know, with the, with the career part of music, you know, a lot of cats still get in trouble whether they're with doing music. A lot uh, of cats. See, I got I got two choices. It's either I'm gonna do music or I'm gonna get in trouble. Yeah. So my my choice is to do music and get the fuck out. Yeah. That's real talk. That's real talk. Cause that's that's what you need to fucking do. You can't play both. Both don't work. It's been proven for fucking over forty years already. Cats from who started back in the day can never do both. They try to. But they always got caught up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, then, I'm 100% with the music. Oh, my, my main goal is to really just, like, expand. You know what I mean? I want to expand my brand for the most part. You know what I mean? So, 
after all of this, this is just going to be like, I just want to have a brand. I want to sell this brand and I want to make this brand something that nobody else has ever fucking seen in their life. You know what I mean? Just like, wow. You know? Yeah, absolutely, bro. You can definitely do that, man. I think you have the energy. You know what I'm saying? You have this persona about you that's, that's gravitating. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you use that for your brand, then yeah, it's going to be dope. You know what I'm saying? Your, your brand is going to carry you longer than when your music can sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It'll be that next wave, that next that next side piece of the business you can go after. You know what I'm saying? Because I tell a lot of cats, right? You're going to hustle when you're in the hood, and hustling is temporary. Hustling is just getting a gig, and that's it. And the gig is temporary. You can't hustle forever. You got to learn how to grind out and actually make something, whether it's either your music or a business. A business is not a hustle no more. You know what I'm saying? When you're, when you're hustling in the street, it's just that. You're watching your fucking back. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing's actually 100%. You're just unsure. It's just going to give you a quick buck right then and there. You know what I'm saying? And if the way you're going, the way you're talking, you're getting out of that hustling game, and you need to. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of cats in hip-hop, they don't talk about how hard it is to fucking make an album. You know what I'm saying? They don't tell you how long you're going to stay in the fucking studio to create that shit. But in the videos, they'll show all the fucking Bentleys and the fucking, you know, fucking Phantoms and shit like that and hype it all up. But they're not talking about, yo, I had to put in hours and hours to get this fucking album ready. You know what I'm saying? I had to fucking take photo, photo shoots, you know what I'm saying, for hours to get the fucking marketing right. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of fucking work behind it. And I don't feel like, you know, hip-hop artists don't talk about that enough. We always, we always tend to glorify the end result. You know what I'm saying? Once we get to the end result, and if we have all the money, then we talk about that shit. But we don't talk about the truth. talking that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? It, it's hard work. It is. That's what I'm saying. Like, cats, cats need to be talking about the process of that shit. How hard is it? Your disappointments. What happens when the fucking record label and you are at odds because of a particular track? You know what I'm saying? A particular record. Like, you know, you want to put out, they say, nah, don't fit. Or if not a radio hit. You know what I'm saying? Or are you a truly a radio artist or not? Are you a true underground artist? You understand that way. Like, there's mad different directions you can go with your fucking music, especially now you you're, you're, you could be indie. You know what I'm saying? Mad cats are just independent and making and making dough out of it and making it happen. It's hard. You got to pay for a lot of shit yourself out of your own pocket. But it could be done. It's being done. That's basically what's going on right now. And with your brand, you know what I'm saying? That's that's even more dope. That's even a more better direction for you. You know what I'm saying? Get that merch. So every time you perform, people are buying your shit. Hell yeah. Right now, it's, it's selling like wild. You know what I mean? It's, sell, it's selling fast as shit. And then another thing is like, my main thing of how I just be branching out is my, my fucking networking skills is just wild. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Instagram? Oh, I'm a beast with Instagram. <laughs> like, I can, like, that's where I sell a lot of my merch. And then I'll just be, you know what I mean? I'll do, I'll see a lot of niggas on the street and shit, and they'll just buy it. Like, where'd you get that shirt? And I'll yeah. have a, I'll have a couple shirts in my MCM book bag, and I'll just be like, all right, it's $25 a shirt, and they just buy one real fast. That's, that's it. That's how you do it, bro. That's how you got to do it. But that's stay true to I your go, shit, bro. Anywhere I go, they go see, I always have one of these on, you know what I mean? Because you have to. I got thousands of these. <laughs> you, no, you got to rock your own shit, bro. I'm in the yeah. same um, direction, trying to get my shit together for, for some merch, so I can start wearing it on my podcast. So I'm like, that's what I'm gonna fucking wear. You know, fuck yeah. every other brand. You know what I'm saying? Unless I go out, if I go out, I'll get me a, a polo shirt, a collar shirt with my shit on it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Like my my sweats, like sweats I got on now. I'm working on uh, when I do the patches and shit. I want to get. I want to find out where I can get some cheap sweats, and then I want to patch them. I want to patch it on the right side and right up here, and then I think them shits will fucking take oh, off. Oh, yeah, just fucking kill it, bro. Yeah, yeah I think you're going to, yo, bro, like, you know, me and Philly was talking the other night about you, and I was like, you know, he was like, yo, this, this, he's got it, bro. Philly was like, yo, this, this kid's going to make it. He, he has something. Yeah. And now I, now I see what he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, your energy, like I said, is dope. And you gotta continue with that shit. And whoever you have in your whoever you have in the corner, you know what I'm saying? If it's a Philly or your fucking lady, yo, take heed, you know what I'm saying, to those 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 real people that are gonna, you know, tell you what the fuck the truth is. If those people can tell you your your next record is whack, keep those people around you. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. You don't need no fucking yes man. 
grasp. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You definitely need a fucking yes man because those are the motherfuckers who are just trying to mooch off of you. They'll sell your merch. They'll wear your merch. But they're also trying to dig in your fucking pockets. You True, know what that's what I realized. I was talking to Phil about it. He just said, "Man, you gotta let you gotta let these niggas go. It's it's about to take off. You about to be on a whole different level. You gotta let everybody go because yeah, man, they're in the way. Absolutely, like, man. About the corner pockets. Yeah, man. I'll tell you that like, you have to really look at history of hip hop, and and cats had the the, the crew so deep, forty fifty deep on yeah. payroll." How you expect to survive? No doubt you want to help out your, your boys and shit when you got the hood. The best way to help them out is say, yo, follow me. Go yeah. do your own shit. You know what I'm saying? What do you need next to, to fucking go do your own thing? Go do it. Go take care of it. Give them advice. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? But to take cats out and give them a paycheck, that's not helping nobody. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That ain't helping nobody. Like, they ain't helping, taking, ain't helping you. Yeah, I was taking care of a couple niggas and shit, and I just stopped doing that shit. And then um, I have a couple artists that I love to keep work with, and I tell them, like, they be like, oh, we waiting on you. I'm like, nah, bro. And I tell them advice, and I be like, nah, bro. Like, what you need to do is go start you a brand, get you a logo made, get you a couple videos, and push it. You know what I mean? Take yeah. your time and focus. Like, I got a couple niggas that just be like, not knowing what to do. When I tell them what to do, they still don't want to listen, so then I drop them. I'm you have like, to. Because honestly, bro, there's no excuse for them not to know what to do. The internet tells you every fucking thing. You can YouTube anything and figure out how it's done. You can go on Instagram and find somebody that's telling you. Like, you know, like, there's so much resources for them not to go after that. That means they really don't want it. They don't, they don't want to grind out. They don't want the hard work. Yes, I agree. You know what I'm saying? And that's the shit right there. Like, you, you, you're willing to, to work for your shit. It's not going to come easy, bro. You know, and you're putting all this time me. in. Yeah. You, you're putting all this time in, you know what I'm saying? And because you're putting your time in and, and the energy you, you have right now is good for yourself. Yeah, you, it, things are starting to line up. You know, you're starting to meet mm-hmm. the folks. Like, oh, shit, this is happening. This is popping off. It ain't popping off because you just woke up yesterday saying I want to rap. You've been doing this for a minute. Yeah. I've been <laughs> doing it since I was, for real, for real, been doing this since I was, like, 15. Yeah. And you got and you got to take account of all that shit, bro. All that 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 first time you decided to write, to the first time you decided to spit, to the first time you had an idea for a song, you know what I'm saying? Which I gotta say too, like with your music, I do feel like it's it's actual music. You're just not rapping with a bunch of words in it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like you're making actual fucking music. Bars you know what I'm saying? That. Yeah, just you know what I'm saying? Like it's, I just feel like it's super different. Like it's just like. It's like, whoa, like, every time I hear my music, man, and I do play it and I really listen to it, like, there be certain songs that just give me chills, bro. Like, that should just be chilling me. I'll be like, damn, like, I just said some shit like that. <laughs> you impress yourself. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. Like, like, damn, I just fucking told these niggas, like, what's really going on? Like, because I be zoned out. Most of my shit. I don't even write down, bro. I just go in the booth, and it's just off of memories of what happened in my life, and I just put them all together while I'm rapping real fast. Right. No. Uh, whatever, whatever process you got, bro, don't fuck with it. Just just keep it. You know what I'm saying? Cause it works. And if you just go into the booth that's spinning from, from the top, continue that. Perfect it. Make it even better. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And continue, like, you know, you don't want to keep on you know, going through bad shit and struggling. You know what I'm saying? You want to get better at shit, you know what I'm saying, of course, in your life. And that's also another story for you to tell. How you went from having this, from you know, having a PTSD to maybe one day controlling it, getting better at it. You know what I'm saying? To where you're not ducking. No. Where you're not ducking with games of fucking playing and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> Damn you want, right. Yeah. You want to be real with that shit and talk about it. And like I said, your music, I said, listen to it. Listen to all your tracks. And I was like, man, I was like, he's actually saying some dope shit. And it ha- it's been a while since I've heard someone, as of lately, that's been saying some dope shit. A lot of it's been real commercial. It's been real kind of just kind of catchy, you know, the regular kind of kind of hook and the bridge, and that's it. And There's the a lot of weird kind of shit fail. going on in the industry. Yeah, it has to it has to be like the music always changes, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You go you go through your ups and downs of music where. A bunch of people flood out, come out one time, and maybe a couple stick. And then you have these that kind of gem of a moment when you have people like yourself, like, yo, this is this is the dude, this is the next one. You know what I'm saying? 
like you, you can tell like there's something in the music that's starting to kind of flourish you know what i'm saying and really get you there and i think having i said having philly around you philly would definitely get you there you know what i'm saying philly's really good people um, I don't say that about anybody, because uh, most people are are shitty people. But uh, but but Philly's fucking dope. Like he's really gonna have you, like going to the right spots and we're moving you forward, bro. Uh, you know? Yeah, he he believes in me. No, yeah, that's dope. Like I said, and then you believe in yourself even more is even you know top notch of that of that being, being that. You I, know what I'm saying? I said I play my part. I'll be good. Yeah. Go That's ham. Go on ham. Yeah. The only way is up. That is it, bro. That is He's it. He's going down. Hell no. Yeah. Fuck that. Can't, you can't, if you can't, like, if you go down, bro, like, for what? To be back where? To be back in the same spot that I was. Yeah, to do what? You really going to get another a regular job? And what, is, what does a regular job look like for you? I ain't never worked a regular job. Right. So you, you ain't know. Job, actually, the only job I had was cutting trees, and then the, I fucking got I got fired and shit within the week. <laughs> How you get fired from cutting trees, bro? Man, cause the one dude, the one dude, he said some racist shit. Like, but well, first this is how I started. He he said, "Go get the fucking water." I, I told the nigga, I was like, "Yo, like." Bro, that's not my fucking job to fill the water up, bro. I fucking cut the trees, dude. Like so he said, go fucking fill the water up. So I told him, I was like, I told him what I just said, and I told him, fuck you and shit. Then he called me, he called me the N word and shit. So I end up, I end up beating that nigga's ass and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then the boss came and shit. I told the boss, I said, go get my fucking paycheck. You know what I mean? I want my money of what I worked and shit. And then I just never talked to him again, man. It was called um, Marshall Trees. Marshall Marshall Tree Service in Elwood City. Like, Let's the, not give no shout out, bro. Yeah, the <laughs> worst the worst spot ever. The worst spot ever. <laughs> Yo, so this is, this is all or nothing then, bro. You going for this music shit, it's all or nothing. It's every dollar is going into this. It been going into this. Every single penny. You know what I mean? There was a time when I, I slept in my car, bro. There was a time when I slept under a bridge, bro. My mom kicked me out just because I, I wouldn't go to school or nothing for the music. Like, bro, I've been through a lot of shit, bro. That sounds like my son. My son right now, um, he loves doing music. And uh, he's just, him and school is not mixing. And I told him, I said, like, if you're going to do it, then fucking do it. Come if you're gonna cut school, you better come back with an EP for me. <laughs> I told him straight out. If you're just gonna cut school and just fuck around and kind of dabble in it, I was like, if you're not gonna be 100 percent in it, go take your ass back to school. Yeah. I was like, if you say this is what your passion's about, I was like, bring me a fucking album. Bring me some shit I can say. All right, I see where your time went. Don't don't bring me one track and a and a fucking uh, a bunch of other beats that you haven't finished yet. Cause I'm gonna be like, uh, yeah, you need to ask me to go sit in that fucking class. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, all or nothing with this shit, man. Yeah. You're gonna go through a lot of fucking what's it? What's that they say? Tributes and tra- tribulations. I don't know how yeah. to really say it, but um, I have a hard time pronouncing some shit. But uh, you you gotta go hard, I, man. There's yep, times yep. when you ain't got nothing. Then you're gonna have something, you know what I mean? You gotta go through nothing before you have something. Like I say, you gotta go through hell before heaven. No, absolutely, you do. I think yeah. the, the, the cats who succeed the most are the cats who are the back is against the wall, because you have no place else to fucking go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You really uh, have to pick yourself up and just make some shit fucking happen. Yeah, that's exactly how I am. Back you know against. I'm fuck that. I seen the real when I was locked up, you know. Yeah, and that's just that's just scary as fuck. You get locked up in a fucking joke. I was stressed, like it was it wasn't bad in there or nothing. Like I had like niggas respecting me and et cetera. They already knew who I was when I walked in there. They knew my name and everything. You know what I mean? Right. Like they listened to my music. Like a lot of them niggas were fans of mine and shit. And fucking, I ended up just relaxing, but I was I was stressed. Like you could tell in my face. 
that I was stressed out when I came out of jail and shit because I was just sitting there and I was like, yo, after he told me like 11, 12 years, I was like, I was like, fuck for something so fucking retarded, bro. That is, man. That's insane, bro. And it made all the news channels, like ABC, fucking Fox, like, dude, it made everything. It went on the Blue Life Matters, you know the Blue Life Matters? Yes, I do, yeah. Man, they put me (laughs) on there, yo. (laughs) (laughs) They put me on the Blue Life Matters, bro. Yo. But... As I still don't get it, but I think that's that's just the the justice system being fucked up though, because any brown or black people they're gonna try to fuck a thousand percent, oh, you know what I'm saying? Fuck me a hundred thousand percent, <laughs> bro. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess the good thing now is that you know what? I guess you had to go through that shit. If you yeah, look at I it. had to go through. That's my hell. I had to go through yeah. hell, and now, now it's starting to lighten up. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Because now, like you know, you figured now you not, now you can laugh about it. You know what I'm saying? You can look at it, laugh about it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Um, you still gotta t- you still gotta talk to your PO for the next fucking two years, but that's a small price to pay at that point. Mm-hmm. I you mean, he told me I could get off in a year if I got good behavior. So I'm thinking he keep he keep mentioning he keeps saying, uh, when when is it gonna be a year? And shit. Like he asking me when is it gonna be a year and shit. Just I'm tell like, motherfucker I tomorrow. <laughs> Today. I told I told him I think June is gonna be a year shit. <laughs> like shit, I'm tracking the fuck because he said all I had to do was just pay all my fives, which I paid them the same time that I came out. Like as soon as I got out, like that week, I paid all my fines. Well, the week after the case, after they charged me and shit, yeah. I paid all my shit off, like all of my shit. I just put all my money into the fucking fines, paid it off to get them done. Now all I do is just pay the watch over fee is for the PS yeah. every month. Yeah, you know. So but I paid everything off, like with both of my probations. I, I spent so much money. My fucking lawyer was like ten bands. My other lawyer was ten bands. My fines were like fucking my fines were wild. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, man, I spent a lot of money in this fucking process. Probably like fucking 80 grand, bro, because I had to pay for my bail, too. That's insane, man. Fuck. Yeah. So now I'm on the verge of just building my money back up. So how are you doing that? You just doing uh, shows? Well, I'm selling a lot of merch right now. Like, I, there's a lot of shows. Like, you, there's this shit called this little thing that I'm on, and it, like, books people. Like, people go on there. The book you is called, you ever hear a gig salad? Yeah, I have. Yeah, so I'm on that, and people hit me up on there. Like, I got a whole bunch of emails, but um, I'm on some I'm on some shit where I think like like these niggas are out to get me or some shit. You know what I mean? So, so I'm like, paranoid, bro. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, I'm like shit. But um, I got a lot of shit on there. But right now, I'm just making a lot of my money off of merch. And my iTunes and Spotify is going up. My Spotify is going up real, real wild. Yeah, because I was listening to your shit heavy this weekend. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> oh, good luck, bro. Appreciate that shit. Nah, because listen, like I said, if you wasn't good, we wouldn't be talking. On the real. Oh, for real. Yeah. I wouldn't have time for it. Like, you know, like, and, and Philly knows that too, bro. He's like, you know, he's like, I said, oh, he's any good. He's like, oh, yeah, bro, he's the next one. I said, all right, let me see. Um, Put you on Spotify. It's like I'm, I'm bumping to it. I'm like shit. I was like, all right, let's see the next one. I see if it's consistent. I was like, everybody can have one. I was like, let me see if it's consistent. I kept on going through it. And I was like, yo, like this dude has some real shit going on. And your like say your style, your vibe, you can feel it all through your music. And that's a rarity. Sometimes you don't feel that shit. Sometimes people's personalities don't come through to the music, but yours do. I uh, appreciate it, man. Some good shit, bro. Like on the real. And so I'm gonna ask you this: So you're all that gang? Any did you do any gigs from Gig Salad at all, or you just too paranoid to accept them? I ain't do nothing yet. I I told a couple people, and um, it's always uh, I miss the email. Like when they say yeah and shit, like I end up because I check my email every so often and shit, or I'll check it when somebody sends me beats. Like my nigga Nest, my nigga right. Nest, he be making beats for me and shit, and I'll check. He he sent me beats like all the fucking time, so I'm like I check it. 
you know what I mean, when he sends it and shit. But then he'll he'll tell me so many fucking beats that he'll push the gig salad down and shit. And I'll be like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I I got a lot of offers of shit. Like I'll charge right now. I was charging people. Um, I told them it was like four hundred and two hundred down. You know what I mean? Okay. And a lot of people got back to me and shit, and then it'd be too late. Like I said, it'd be too late when I reply back and shit when I see it. So now you gotta be up on it, bro. That's the business now. That's the business side of music, bro. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? You gotta be you gotta watch your shit all day long. Put your notifications on so as soon as you can fucking get an email. Yeah, I need to put my notifications on my email. I think that's the fucking problem. Yeah, bro, because <laughs> that's money lost. That's potential money lost right there. Yeah, you know I could have made a lot of money off of that shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you definitely want to do that, bro. Like, you know, so put your notifications on. Cause I know a lot of young heads, they don't fuck with email. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when I sent you the email, yeah, I was like, I right, bet you gave me this time. I was like, that's not the option. <laughs> I was like, yo. I was like, all right, let's send it back again. Reread the email real quick, bro. Because to do like right, true business shit, there's going to be a lot of emails you're going to get, bro. On the real. Yeah. And you don't want to do some shit in the back of fucking DMing somebody on IG. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's yeah. how most people communicate. I get it, but it's like it's not official. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, do do, do the fucking email, check your shit out, and then have folks. You know, you know, this, this. the more gigs you're gonna get, the more you can start commanding. You know what I'm saying? The more you're out there, the more you, you know, you're grinding that out, you're gonna make hella fucking money easily. Hell yeah, the more sales Easy. and all my merch and all that. Exactly, bro. <laughs> and that's the biggest thing because every every gig you go to. That's a table set up with your merch being right there on it. Come on, you know, telling people to buy your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know this one cat, he had a fucking sign made up that he he would just pull up, right? It was like it was like in a silver box. There's one artist, he'll pull it up. he will be like, yo, go download my shit on Spotify, iTunes right now. And he had his merch table right with that shit. And yeah, he had his boy, yeah, his boy was right behind him. And his boys are behind the table just selling all the merch for him. And while he's on her stage fucking, you know, fucking rapping, his boys fucking just selling all the merch for him. And he had the fucking sign, closed it up, folded the table up, put the merch in the box. They were out like like nothing. Um, and he's out of, um, he was out of ATL. And um, I was like, man, I said, that's a smart ass fucking move. You know, mm-hmm. It's no different than when you go to a fucking concert. They do the same fucking shit before mm-hmm. you enter the fucking venue. Everyone's outside of like a booth type, type of setting buying fucking merch. And all no, he did yeah. it on a smaller scale. That was it. That's smart. I need to get a banner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get a fucking banner, bro. <laughs> like, I'm going to fucking buy a banner, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, like, I'm telling you, man, like, there's so many different things cats can fucking do that that can just continue to make themselves fucking money. As, like, you did earlier already. Like, you've been investing in yourself already. You know what I'm saying? Like, you said, you want to, you know, doing the merchant's investment. You're selling your shit to a fucking IG. You're gonna have to get a, a proper website. You know what I'm saying? Have everybody fucking go through that go shit. Through. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you can also link up your music to that fucking website. You can do all that shit. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? So that's that's next. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like you get paid for the viewers that go on your website. Yeah. Absolutely, right. bro. And collecting those Never. emails, like email funneling, you gotta ca- capture those emails, bro. And then from there you can market to your fans after that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, capturing emails is huge, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's big money. Like, we, like you see a lot of these websites, and they have a pop-up, you know, putting your name in your email. It's for a reason. Because once you capture, whether you stay in the website or not, now I got your email. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get you back to come back, come through and buy some shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have you come back listen to my shit. Either way, you're going gonna to the, you're gonna get the money from somehow, some way. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you got to fucking do. Look at how technology is going to really help you fucking grow your shit without you having to even do that much. You know what I'm saying? Like this is different nowadays. When I was growing up, we didn't have all this fucking easy shit. You know what I'm saying? It was it was strictly just fucking on the street, fucking with DJs left and right. You know what I'm saying? Like the DJs and DJs are still important too. Like you still want to kind of network with DJs, bro. Oh uh, yeah. In Atlanta, I, mean, I live in Atlanta now. And we're just known for the strip clubs. You know what I'm saying? And the strip clubs is where it's at. Now like, they start playing your shit. And it's a fucking hit. It's over. Everybody gets to know about it. Everybody in Atlanta goes to fucking strip clubs. The food, it's the, it's the, it's the best food we got in the fucking strip clubs. <laughs> you get a badass steak in the strip club in the A. So, 
gotta <laughs> see some shit in the strip clubs. I'll tell you that, nigga. Yeah. I, I don't remember the one time we had the strip club, right? This one, my dad came home. So we, you know, I ain't really talked to my dad. I still don't talk to him, but we had our, we had our moment when we went to the strip club together. Right. Oh my God, bro. These niggas end up fucking doing something wild. I know the one bitch came from the underside of the bar with a bat, smacked this nigga in the head, this one nigga. We start running out. Dad, my dad, the security trying to get my daddy to push through him. I'm running out that motherfucker like, oh shit! Like, <laughs> yo, he's running behind me. My nigga Cash, he at the door. I'm like, what the fuck is you doing? We driving this shit. Hurried up, and I'm yelling out the window, yo, Cash, what are you? What the fuck, nigga? Like, come on! <laughs> like, we in some shit, bro. Like, I don't want to say what happened on the on the camera and shit. <laughs> But we was in some shit. Like, yo, it was the wildest shit I ever fucking been into. I'll tell you that. Them motherfuckers. Oh, my God, bro. We got banned for life from that motherfucker. Yo, yo that is crazy. If you would know, like, like I'll tell you when we get off of this shit. But right. why why it happened. But they, you know, <laughs> they, just know that they, they did not play that shit. Yo, they fucking, oh, my God, bro. It was like a bro. movie, bro. That's insane, man. That's crazy, man. Oh, uh, it was it was epic as shit. It was like some fucking oh my god. And this is two strip clubs in one night that we got kicked out of, bro. Really? Yeah, we got kicked out of two. We got kicked out of the one in Beaver Falls on 18, and then we got kicked out the one in Pittsburgh and shit cost the letters or some shit. Oh my god, bro. It was the oh, it was man, I was fucked up too. I was faded. I was the most. I've been. I was faded for like fuck a week. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, shit. Yo, I had to lay down. I still wasn't right. Fuck. Yo, man, bro. Like that's some crazy shit. <laughs> yeah, like me, me and Philly. Philly took me out and shit. And uh, oh my gosh, that shit was epic. Like, cause we went out with uh, Rel Carter and them. Um, from Rock Nation. Oh my God, bro. It was epic. Next thing you know, bottles is coming in the VIP section. Fucking like 10 bottles. I didn't got fucked up. I go to the I go to go buy a beer and shit because I can't handle the liquor no more. So I walk out of VIP <laughs> to go grab some beer and shit because the liquor's too much. And they telling me where I was standing, the the one white bitch. Now fell backwards and then smashed her head off the ground and shit. <laughs> they had to save her and shit. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. Hey, it was epic as fuck, man. Like that nigga is is the truth. He's the truth. <laughs> he's nah, the he truth. is, man. He's, he's plug well. emoji. Plug emoji. <laughs> he's true. <laughs> For real. You got me fucking crying over here, bro. Holy shit. Man, that shit was epic, bro. I ain't um, never been no shit like that in my life. Man, bro. That's some dope shit. <laughs> that nigga's the truth, bro. <laughs> like I said, plug emoji. Yo, we got a plug emoji. Just plug right there. Like, that. <laughs> plug 100 emoji. Like, straight up. <laughs> Man, I, mean, I, you know, I'm, I want you to make sure you enjoy yourself, bro, like you have been. Because yeah. the experience to go through this shit, yo, it's, it's, it's dope as fuck, bro. I'm telling you. Like, I, I really want you to enjoy yourself, have these fucking crazy ass stories, have a blast with it, um, and keep on working hard. Cause I, I, see it, I see it in you, bro. Like, you know, like, you have a plan. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? You have a plan to fucking execute that shit, bro. Cause man, like I want you to have just fucking fun with life, bro. You, sh- you should, you know what I'm saying. You should never feel like your back is against the wall anymore. You know what I'm saying. And some cats will probably tell you different. That you always always stay in that realm. Always always kind of play that part. But you don't tend to open yourself up if you stay that way. You know what I'm saying. You got to open yourself up. You got to grow. You got to change. You know what I'm yeah. saying. I and you got to you got to keep on moving. And just like you are, bro. Like. Start fucking checking your emails, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh-huh. I'm about to start checking them motherfuckers. I'm going to turn my notification shit on. I'm about to get a new phone because, like I said, this, this phone, phone 
just be fucking like, you know what I mean? I dropped it, and my girl, she 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 fucking threw my shit too, you know what I mean? And broke it. <laughs> so fucking, she got mad at me and threw my shit. I'm like, what the fuck? And fucking, the whole back is cracked. So so I'm like, I'm putting it in rice, thinking it's a water problem. This motherfucker just keep moving and stirring itself. I be texting. Next thing you know, this motherfucker go flying up in the messages. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> So I gotta go take it to Apple and try to. If Apple can't do it, I'm just gonna buy a new phone. Cause this phone, I threw it today, my damn self, cause I was pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> like, it was fucked up, man. I almost broke the whole thing, my damn self. This shit was fucked up. <laughs> Yo, bro, you gotta get a new phone. Phone. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to get a new phone, cause this shit is messed up, bro. If you would see how this phone reacts, it's just fucked up. <laughs> you gotta show me a picture of that shit. Seems like somebody else is controlling my shit. <laughs> they probably are. Your girl probably is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you never know. She be on my ass about shit, too. No, that's, that's dope, though. Be with the two-piece today and shit, man. Over somebody else talking shit. I was like, what the fuck? All I did was tell her, I was like, go make me some hot tea and shit. And she just starts snapping. It's like, my motherfucker, I need motherfucking five minutes to rest your bitch. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Hit me with the two-piece and grab my laptop. I'm talking about she I was like, I'll break your TV. She's like, I'll break my own fucking TV with this laptop. I'm like, oh, God damn. Fuck. Bro, don't ask for tea no more, man. <laughs> like, the fuck? Yeah, I ain't going to ask for tea no more. I'll tell you that. No, just get your I'm own shit, bro. I'm making my fucking self. <laughs> fuck yeah. Damn. I think she has some PTSD over fucking some tea. Shit. You got some anger issues, something. <laughs> You need to pop a Zan, man. <laughs> it sounds like it. She ready to break her own shit with your shit. That's some. Yeah. That's some. That's some gangster shit. <laughs> you want some gangster shit, for real? Oh yeah, bro. Yo, man, that's crazy. That's that's crazy, fucking funny, man. So, how long have you and your old lady been together? For a minute now, and shit, a couple months. That's what's up. And she holding you down, right? Like five, six months. Yeah, we fell out one time and some shit happened. But you got to move past it, you know what I mean? She ended up fucking a dude and I end up fucking three bitches. You feel me? But that that's cool, though. You know, you got to move past it, right? You got to move past it. Yeah, bro. But I don't think she has. <laughs> and Yeah, she hasn't. And if she, if she uh keeps moving on, like, I mean, fuck, I'm tripping. If 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 she holds me down, then I should stick with her, you know? Yeah. But like, you know I mean, fuck the past, you know what I mean? It happened, it happened. But Dude no. ain't me and shit. Now, if you get pregnant by this nigga, then uh, it's, it's just another story. Yeah. Because I had a girl I was fucking with, right? I was with her for a whole year, bro. I She got pregnant, right? I'm thinking, oh, yeah, it's my baby. Hell yeah, you know what I mean? Happy as fuck. Bro, we go to get the DNA test. Well, when the baby came out, first one, I done bought this bitch like five, six thousand dollars of fucking baby shit, bro. Damn. You know what I mean? Like, and then when the baby came out, looking at this motherfucker like, what the fuck? And, and this baby <laughs> black as shit, yo. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck, yo? This baby black as shit. And, and I'm light, I'm light skinned. Like my other kids is light skin, like white, bro. Cause I'm I'm only 25% black. And and I'm looking, I'm like, yo, like this baby black as shit. And as he got older, this, you know what I mean? This guy's a little darker. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I said DNA test this shit. And uh, so we went and got the DNA test. Came back, not mine. I, I called that bitch like, bitch, yeah, yeah, bitch. I told you, bitch. Black ass baby, that is not mine. Like, you know what I mean? I said that black ass baby is not mine. You fucking lied on me, bitch. You know what I mean? Like, oh man, she just yeah. deleted me, blocked me, all types of shit after that. Like, I was like <laughs> so now I'm like, my guard is up. Like, just like thinking if my girl got pregnant, like I hope that it would be mine. You feel me? <laughs> Because I, I went through that shit before and that shit sucked. Like, my baby mom, so my first two kids, she had Rocco, which is my oldest, he's five, and then Parker's four, 
Well, she she got they didn't want her to get go into labor at my house. You feel me? Yeah. I'm fucking her, and she went into labor while I was fucking her. Shit, the water broke. Boom. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh shit, like you know already I mean? first. I'm like, yeah, this shit. I'm like, damn, this shit wet as hell. You know what I'm saying? Like, goddamn. It's so fucking. She go to labor. I, I don't know, call somebody. I'm like, yo, this bitch is in labor. Da, 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 da. We got to go to the hospital and shit. This shit real. And fucking, we go there. She having a baby. And then she has the baby. They talking about, is the baby ready to see its adoption parents? I'm like, what the fuck? Fuck adoption like, parents. Adoption parents. What the fuck you talking about? I looked at this bitch like, bitch, what the fuck is you talking about? In and, and order for them to adopt the kid, they had to have me sign some shit. So I said, hell no. Nah. And I took my son in and raised him until right now he's four years old. I'm still raising him. You know what I mean? Wow. And uh, I took him in and he lived with me. So she has nothing to do with him now? or? Hell no, nah, bro. We asked her to get him. Me and my mom asked her to get him to go see his brother and go chill with Rocco. Bro, she, she fucking... Didn't they come get him, like, just don't want shit to do with him. And you know what the fucked up part is? I was telling Philly about this, too. Uh, and he said, this shit is fucked up, bro. She had a baby with my cousin and fucking takes care of that kid instead of her first, her second kid. Wow, that's fucking fucked up shit, bro. Yeah, ain't that some shit, bro? That's some bullshit. Yeah, so she takes care of that motherfucker but don't fucking show no attention and he be asking where my mom and shit you know what i mean yeah so my girlfriend now played the role of his his mom damn man that's some fucked up shit but even for your cousin too though that's that's your cousin's fucked up too though yeah, they're fucked. Hey, man, it's a fucked up world, right? <laughs> Yo, man, like, the fuck? It's a no fuck fucking up respect world. whatsoever. Like, come on, that's like, that's fam. You don't fuck with that, like, you know, your cousin's fucking yeah, shorty like yeah, that. And that's why a lot of my niggas and shit tried to fuck my baby mom. I just dropped everybody. Like, I don't even be fucking with niggas like that, you know what I mean? Nah, like, yeah. Like, for real, like, you know what I mean? Then I met Phil, and I was like, yo, Phil, Phil, the realest nigga I met ever. Like, for sure. I told him that. I was like, man, you the realest nigga I, I ever met, bro, because I've been dealing with all these fuck niggas all my life, bro, and then you come around, bro. You real as fuck, bro, for what you're doing. You got to tell you to other people he fuck with, you're going to see that other people he mess with is all, they're all real folks, because he he's not going to mess up the shit he's made for himself either. You know what I'm saying? He's come, he's come a long way him damn self, and um, he's, he's definitely helped me out, putting me on to other folks as well. And man, like, you know, he's, me and him always stay in contact Always just checking up on each other, whatever. And whatever support he needs, I'm there for him. Hell yeah. yeah. And vice versa. And that's how it should be. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got we got to do that. One as men and as brown and black men. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you got to do that shit. Because no uh, one else is going to look out for us. You know, look, at this, look at you, man. They try to fucking put you up for fucking a decade for talking some shit on Facebook. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like yeah. that's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So have, uh, have yeah. a person like, like fully around you. To really guide you that whole business process, yo, be a fucking sponge, bro. Learn all that you fucking can learn and question everything. Even if it's coming from Philly, Philly's dope person, but still question, ask questions. You understand some shit? That's fine. Make make me a fucking understand. You know what I'm saying? And make sure you understand the business that you're getting into, because the music industry is fucking shady as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And so you gotta make sure you understand exactly what the fuck is going on. If somebody doesn't give you an answer. Bet I'm not performing until I get a fucking answer. <laughs> like <laughs> no one's gonna get money. <laughs> like I'm gonna stop the fucking machine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So hit the motherfucking and, brakes on them. Yeah, exactly. Er, like you know, emergency brake, all that shit, bro. You got to. Yeah. Cause not man, like yo. Well, what what the fuck is it for? Cause as as much as the shady niggas that you fucking left behind, you're gonna have that industry too. And they're gonna try to be up front, be up in your face, smiling and shit. But they're trying to fuck you from the from the back, you know what I'm sure. saying? So you just gotta make sure that you know you maneuver, whatever you don't understand. Make sure that, that conversation you don't leave that conversation until you fucking understand. If you gotta ask a goddamn question a thousand fucking times, that motherfucker better be ready to answer that question a thousand fucking times until you fucking get it. True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you have to that. That's for that's for you right there. That's that's for yourself. Because once you start learning the game and the business for yourself, no one can fucking jerk you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
No one, no one can fucking jerk you at that shit. It's all you. Damn right. I'm about to fucking slide on these niggas. Strong hand emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take my own piece of gum. Strong hand emoji on these niggas. Yo. Like, I'm That's your shorty like... with you right now? Yeah. You want to see her? Yeah, man. Put her on, man. Let's get some air time. Give some air time, bro. How you doing? Hi, good. How are you? I'm good. I'm not going to actually make no tea, okay? Oh, yeah. About... <laughs> There's more to it. There's more to it? I'm sure there is. There's his story, and then there's the truth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, that's what's up, though, man. Like, you know, it's good that y'all two together right now and going through the whole process together. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. Yeah, yeah. She supports me. That's what's up, bro. Keep it like that, man. You know, like, so what's, what's your agenda for this month? Like, what's going on for the month of May, for the summertime, you know? Um, what can we expect next? What's coming? Hmm. I'm trying to figure that out, actually. Um, I'm trying to see when he wanted to do this EP and whatnot. Right. And um, so that's what I'm waiting on. But until then, I'm just, I'm just in my home studio recording, writing music, just keep punching out. But my goal... My goal, and I told Phil this, I was like, my, my motherfucking goal is to lose my motherfucking stomach, bro. All right. Like, that should happen. I done motherfucking drank so much, bro. It's <laughs> unbelievable. And it got, I did, it just took a toll. Like, next thing you know, I just got this fucking stomach. I'm trying to get it down, but it's like, fuck. This shit don't want to go. Like, fuck, I don't know how. Like, I'm about to try to wear, like, a band around my stomach or some shit. Like, <laughs> Yo, up. put some saran wrap around that shit and work yeah. out, bro. <laughs> running around the block five times. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. What I want to do, bro, is once the EP comes out, you got to come back on, bro. Oh, that would be awesome, bro. I'm, I'm definitely with it, bro. I enjoy being on here with you, yo. Definitely, bro. Like, I want, I want you to come up with the EP. Maybe we get you and Philly on together. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that'd be dope. So then you guys can really speak about the whole process of the whole EP, how it went through, um, and just have, we can just do some um, fun shit with it. You know what I'm saying? Hoping soon. I should have my studio set up in Atlanta. Do some in person so this this video shit. And if you're traveling, you come through to the A. You know what I'm saying? And I'm fucking making some real good Puerto Rican food and shit, bro. And uh we fucking chop it up here at the studio and fucking that's recording just you know, fucking talk. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, and get that shit on. So I will definitely connect with Philly, let him know the deal was popping. I shot the studio together by midsummer. By June, July, I should be the studio should be done. Be ready. I wasn't out here in, in July last year. So, dude, like it's uh, that'd be think, dope. yeah, man, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be badass, bro. Have you my first in person guest, you know what I'm saying? We can get that shit lined up, that'd be dope. I love that shit. Yeah, like yeah, I said, ain't, ain't nothing to fly the, out, yeah, man. Yo, and then come through, chill in the A. The weather's beautiful all the time here, bro. Like, it's crazy, it's fucking hot as fuck. Your fucking balls to be sweating. You definitely use your gut just walking out here, bro. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking crazy. To. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, bro. Yo, I'm not going to hold you up. I know you're busy, bro. Yo, I want to thank you so much for coming on, man. Like, you know, y- your music is dope. You're really going to pop off. Yo, stay humble. Like I said, learn about the business, man. And don't stop asking questions. And make sure you keep on getting paid. And read your fucking emails, bro. Yeah, <laughs> All right, bro. Yo, peace out. This was Johnny Nomad Presents. Back Marlowe, man. Yo, bro. F.A.C. Peace. Get with it to get lost. All right. Yeah. What? Yeah. Shout out Philly. That's right. All right, Philly. One. Gang.